Yo, what's up guys? So welcome back to the YouTube channel and in today's video we have got a charity shop haul Now we've picked up a few bits and they are pretty freaking awesome. Not gonna lie We've picked up some vintage little bangers and uh, yeah Let's take a look at what we paid as a reseller what you could expect to make and why did I pick up these items? So the Prince of Wales at the top of my street is closing to their They basically they restock and redo their shop every three months and they get rid of everything that's in the shop at half price the couple of days before and they had a beautiful NBA jersey, Boston NBA Nike jersey, number eight, Walker. Uh, they had it in for £7, but like I said, everything goes half price. So we paid £3.50. Here's a little picture of me with the receipt in the shop when I bought it. Um, but yeah, beautiful NBA jersey. Resale value between 30 and 45 quid on this Boston jersey. Size medium. And uh, yeah, what a corker. Beautiful shirt, great for the summer, can't wait to wear it. On the downside, we're heading into winter, so this is probably going to go into the spare room or the cupboard for the next six months. Or until we head on holiday and I'll take it there with us. So I'm just jumping in in the middle of this video to say, hi guys, if you are watching this video over on your TV, don't forget to get it up on your phone, get it up on your laptop and drop a comment. Let me know what is your favourite item from today's pickups let me know in the comments it'd be great to hear and also don't forget hit that like button hit that subscribe button it really does help push the channel and i genuinely do appreciate it anyways let's carry on with the video now this next item is probably one of my favorites that i've found in a while this is a vintage nike late 80s early 90s give you guys a little look at the nike tag right there this is a BUT. This is a vintage track jacket. And check this out. How insane is this? So you've got the beautiful purple pink color scheme. You've got the uh, all embroidered dye continental with the all embroidered Nike as well. Absolutely stunning. But where this jacket goes crazy is the back. What a beauty. You've got again the the name and stuff all in felt, and then you've got the beautiful sports classics and the Nike tag all embroidered. That is a beautiful jacket. Ten pound on that, and worth every penny. Resale value, you're probably talking fifty to seventy quid. Uh, but as always, I will chuck up comps and things that I find. Yeah, crazy. This is a beautiful piece i would have picked this up all day long reselling because it's just gonna have some great value in it 80s 90s vintage classic looking all embroidered and it's football it's just winner after winner after winner now one of the things that always goes first on these track jackets are the zips but check that out zip is in perfect condition usually the metal part or sometimes it's rubber is snapped off this has still got it, so that's always a nice nice addition. Oh, mate, this isn't even funny how hard this is going to go. So this is definitely going to be a leaving winter, going into autumn, maybe even to the early parts of summer kind of jacket. Festival season as well. This is the perfect jacket to be taken on holiday. It's light, it's quite airy, you're not going to get red on it, and it's colourful, it's vibrant. Genuinely, this might be my favourite vintage football style track jacket slash windbreaker that I've, I've ever I've ever picked up and I, I've got quite a few I feel like I'm about to head to a training session in the 80s man <laughs> just everything about it embroidery the colors the fit it's a size medium it's nice fitting come on you're not saying no for a tenner and as I showed you earlier you're going to get a decent price resale wise and then I've also picked up for a whopping three pound give you guys a little look right here Three quid, I picked up the Pentax AF Zoom 60. So this is a film camera. And yeah, I've got, I've got loads of film cameras. Usually in charity shops, a lot of the times there's battery corrosion, but I don't know if you can see that. Clean as hell, no corrosion on the battery. So I'm actually gonna grab two new batteries. Well, not two new batteries, it's one battery. It's a CRP2P. Uh, I believe you can get them, out, get them on Amazon for not very expensive. I think they're about six quid. But I've got all the faith that this is going to work. It does have someone's film in this camera. So I'm going to get it developed and see what pictures they were taking. I once, years and years ago, I once bought a camera from a charge shop. 
and add someone's filming. Uh, I go developed, because I always do, I always like to get them developed, see what photos they're taking. A lot of times it's holidays and things like that from the 70s, 80s, 90s, whatever. And I got them developed and it was just a, <laughs> it was just a bunch of, uh, it was just a bunch of spicy photos. Let's put it that way. So <laughs> I always have to preference when I go in now to get people's film developed that I found in cameras to the development place that I go. And I always say, oh, I've just bought this from a charity shop. Someone's left filming it. I want to see what's on it. Because when I went to pick up the, that other one, I looked like a very weird man. Especially when I got outside of the shop, sat down on a public bench and started trying to look through what the photos. And I'm like, oh, wait, oh, put them back. Nope. <laughs> but yeah, three quid for the Pentax Zoom 60 is actually a very good price. I think this is the one, well, one of them, there's this, and I think there's the Zoom 60 something, like U or A or R or some random extra on it where it's like 100 quid. I think this is about 30 to 50. But yeah, it's in great condition. I think it'd be a really nice camera to take on holidays. Uh, just a nice little point and shoot. And uh, yeah, chuck some film in it. The good thing about film cameras nowadays is Max Spielman are actually starting to redo film. And they've got like a promotion on where, um, yeah, they're, they're sort of saying, Film's coming back, come and use us. So I'm actually going to go grab some film from them, chuck it in here, and uh, we'll give it a, a run through. And I'll make a video on the camera and how it works, what it looks like, what the images it produces. I love using cameras, man. It's so much fun. And then one of the best pickups and stuff that I've had recently is I'll chuck it on a picture right here. So I picked up four Wii games and a DVD and I actually traded in the Wii games and stuff. Uh, at CEX, paid a pound for them, traded them in, got 40. And they had this computer in. It's an Asus. It's an. It's only an i3. It's 8 gig, uh, but it's one terabyte of storage. Now, I love Total War games, and I specifically love Medieval 2 the most. And this plays it like a dream. Amy's been downloading newer games, playing them perfectly. She likes a lot of those sort of like pixel games and, and farming style things. And they've been, yeah, been playing really well. Uh, I actually edited my first video on this the other day, edited in full 4K, did not take any, it wasn't slowly running, it was quite quick, it was snappy, I was really surprised. So yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with this. Got it hooked to a second monitor, they had it in for 65 quid, which is crazy because Cash Converters has currently got the exact same computer in right now for 199, but CEX had this in for 65 got 40 knocked off, bargain. So yeah, with the price of the games and what I put towards it, paid 26 quid for this, but that will be coming up in a CEX trade up episode, which is for some of you guys, you'll be happy to know, coming back to the channel. Obviously I started that series a few months before I ended up going into hospital and I just, I've never picked it back up, but it's really started me off and kicked me off on wanting to get that series back up and running because I really enjoyed it. I got some cool stuff out of it, camera gear, lenses, and now a computer. Also got a microphone, which is nice. Got a just a bog standard keyboard, nothing crazy. And got a nice Corsair, uh, I think it's the Corsair Harpoon uh, mouse. Nice little gaming mouse, really good, enjoying it. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy. Got Retro Jamie's vlog currently on the screen right now. I don't know if you can see that. Um, 4,950 subs. If anyone wants to subscribe, get me up to 5K. I wouldn't be uh, I wouldn't be annoyed at that. But also, if you are watching this video and you've got this far, please don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It genuinely does help push the channel, push the videos. And if you're watching this on your TV, get it up on your phone, get it up on your computer, and just drop a cheeky little comment and let me know what was your favorite pickup from today's videos. Videos? Pickups. Mine is probably, it's got to be the computer. It just has to be. But other than that, it's this jacket. Because this is fire. And how crazy is this? I could resell this jacket, get 60 quid for it, and almost buy a PC. But yeah, hope you guys do enjoy the channel. Don't forget, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and drop a comment. And I'll catch you in the next one. Stay happy, stay healthy. Peace. Oh, and for all you diabetics out there, how good is the uh, iced tea from Little Zero Sugar? Happy days. Happy, happy days. I love iced tea. And sadly, a lot of the times, it's really sugary. But anyways, catch you in the next one. Genuinely, guys, I can't, I can't get over the fact that I paid like 25, 26 quid for this PC. Insane, insane. It's, it's not even like crazy spec, but the memory on it, and it runs everything so smoothly for me. Like editing 4K videos, man. 
and it's it's just it's a breeze. Oh, and a lot of people always ask me how do I edit my videos, and I actually edit on my phone. I I mostly just use my phone, edit on there. Um, but I use CapCut, and genuinely been my favorite editing software for years now ever since pretty much when i started this youtube channel um four or five years ago i've used it ever since and the desktop version is so good it's so good if you just pay for the pro version on the phone you get the pro version on the desktop as well and yeah it's class but anyways i best stop talking random crap into this microphone and get editing <laughs> yeah i'm just talking for no reason now catch you in the next one